Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are healthy and hearty welcome to NIEBS home school this is Fatima Sadbin Shikha assistant teacher of national ideal english version school morning shift today i am going to take home science class for the students of class 7 on the topic of second assignment i am repeating today our topic is assignment 2 discussion students as you have submitted your first assignment today i am going to talk about your second assignment so let's start our discussion look here the chapters are given for your second assignment chapter 6 disabled children chapter 8 nutrients of food digestion and absorption chapter 14 orderliness in clothing and personality chapter 15 cleanliness of clothes now assign task or assignment first you have to give the answer of this question first question is write in the context of the textbook how we can fulfill our responsibility towards children with disabilities so assignment criteria is mention at least four ideas explanation of the idea explanation of the idea here no need to write l so our question is write in the context of the textbook how we can fulfill our responsibility towards children with disabilities students we know there are various types of disabled children in our society you can find any friend in your classroom in your area so uh, someone is visually impaired or disabled mentally disabled or um, morally disabled anything physically mentally visually hearing problem so we have to deal with them how can you deal with them you have some responsibilities towards them if a child or if your friend is visually impaired you have to help him in studying in playing in every sphere of life and if a uh, child can't hear properly you have to help him uh, think that uh, your friend can't listen your teacher's lecture properly so you have to help him you have to explain him what your teacher say what is students lesson you have to help him write properly so if we help this disabled child they can be a proper wealth of our nation they can keep involving in every activities of our country so you have to write at least four activities four responsibilities for this question now question two making a report make a list of seven days time table suitable for you family considering the food groups that will get priority to deal with covid 19 Assignment criteria is accuracy in fulfilling up of list, presenting correct information, honesty in providing information. So students, here we are saying we have to make a list of seven days for current situation. That means COVID-19, how your family and you will take food for seven days. We know that we all are going through the situation of COVID-19. We are confined in our home. So to uh, prevent this COVID-19, we have to take food properly. So what can we take? You have to make a list of seven days for your family. You have to make a chart. Look, I'm drawing a chart. You have to mention here the names of seven days one two three four five six seven so seven days you can write saturday sunday monday tuesday like this seven, name of seven days and here you can provide the information of seven days breakfast here you can write breakfast here you can write lunch and here you can write about dinner so here you have to write what you take what your family will take for breakfast on saturday what will take for lunch and for dinner 
so like this you have to provide information for seven days we know that to prevent COVID-19 we have to take those foods which boost our immunity system to prevent this disease we have to increase the immunity system and for this we have to take balanced diet we have to take foods in proper amount so i hope you are taking all those foods at home so you have to write those names in the chart or list next question short question and it is question 3 and divided into a b c so question number a is what should be the relationship between personality and clothing design explain and the criteria is idea of the content explanation of the idea so look you have to write the relationship between personality and clothing design you have to explain about this students we know that there is a close relationship between cloth and its design so uh, it depends on personality what will be the dress of a child what will be the dress of a teacher a doctor what we are in a party so uh, it depends on personality we have to select our dresses according to our personality according to weather according to society maintaining all this age our color complexion all this so maintaining all this keeping in mind all this we have to select our dresses so this based on our personality so you have to write the relation what is the relation you know that if a fair person who is um, or dark person what will be their dresses how they will do it so maintaining all this you have to provide information for this question question number B why do you have to apply starch on cloths write five rules for applying starch so assignment criteria is idea of the content explanation of the idea maintain five correct rules students usually we used to use starch on our cloths so why we use cloth is it necessary or not you have to write you have to mention at least five about this so please open your home science book page number 166 here you will get all the answer lesson 5 applying starch on the cloth why applying starch is necessary for our cloths and how we will apply we can apply here you can get all the points please read this page carefully and you can provide your answer from this page and we are going to our last question question number c what kind of precautions should you take while washing woolen cloths assignment criteria are idea of the content explanation of the idea mentioning five correct precautions so um, while uh, washing woolen cloths we have to be cautious so um, what can be this we have to mention five correct precautions students again take your home science book and open page number 164 lesson for washing woolen cloths from this page if you read this lesson you will get the idea how you have to wash woolen cloths you have to mention five ways correct ways if we wash our cloths in wrong way our dress will be not perfect for us it can be damaged so while washing our cloths basically woolen cloths we have to maintain some rules so you can write the answer from your book students that's all for today i hope you have understood today's topic please do your assignment and submit it on time you have to submit your second assignment on next sunday and if you have any problem you can contact with me i have provided my phone number and messenger id here you can contact with me that's all for today i will see you soon till then allah hafiz assalamu alaikum